Okay, today we're going to create a video of uh, using two push switches using the study board and the CB280 and then we'll see how we can use ladder logic and basic to uh, to uh, see the status of the push button. So set the device to CB280 first and we'll have to uh, set the uh, we'll have to use use pin command to set the uh, port P0 and P1 to input. Um, so use pin 0 in will make port P0 to be uh, input and then use pin 1 in would make P1 to input. Now we've set the uh, the pins to input and then we're gonna simply do set ladder on set ladder on that will turn on the ladder logic part and uh, and we can also declare some variable switch zero as byte uh, switch one as byte now these two variables are are for the two push switches so we can store the value from ladder logic um, and then we put a nice little do loop here and then uh, let's go to ladder and make the ladder logic for this push switch so we can just p0 here and then uh, and then make those lines and then use uh, yep this f8 and then here we'll do int on if you look in the manual it'll, int on will uh, create a ladder interrupt and also store a value in the data data register so I'll store uh, one if uh, there's a uh, if it's pressed if p0 is pressed it'll store one in d0 data memory and also create jump to basic now if it's not pressed <coughs> we wanna uh, oops p0 uh, if it's not pressed we also wanna create an interrupt to tell if it's pressed or not pressed if it's not pressed we uh, we wanna put this one and then and then also do a ladder interrupt and copy 0 into D0 and uh, you might want to put this F11 this uh, actually allows input to be uh, inputted only once so it acts kind of as a debouncing effect so that's the good part about using push switches in ladder logic that you can debounce, debounce it without thinking about it now we just do uh, this and then copy everything. Uh, copy wrong to buffer and then let's see if I can paste. Uh, paste overlay maybe. Oh no. Oh. Uh, okay. I'll just do use a uh, control C and then control V. There you go. And then we could do the same thing for for P1. And then uh, just change the value to D1. We'll store the value of push switch uh, 1 into D1, which is P1 here. Um, and then we need a end statement at the end of your ladder logic. Now we go back to basic. And then uh, we add some codes here. Um, on, on ladder interrupt, on ladder int, go sub process ladder. This will, uh, whenever those push switches are pressed and unpressed, it will jump to this uh, this label right here. And we always want to put the label after the do loop. Um, otherwise, the processor will reset because it's going to, uh, if you put return. But Okay. And then pro in process ladder, we're simply going to uh, store the value of D0 and D1 into the, the switch 0 and switch 1 variables we created. You can use a underscore like this and put the number of the data memory D. And then we'll simply copy this and do it for the same thing for switch one. Now uh, we'll do oops, switch zero equals one. Then we'll simply output uh, switch zero on. And then uh, else if, uh, if switch zero is zero then we'll put output uh, output uh, switch one is uh, switch zero is off and then we just do an end if 
And then we simply copy, copy everything, control C, and go here and control V and paste everything. And all we have to do is change switch 0 to 1, this to 1, and this to 1. And then uh, we could run the program. So let's see what, what I get. So you gotta make sure uh, to save it as something. Uh, push button test. Right? And then you gotta make sure to connect P0 and P1 to your P0 and P1 of the push switch. Um, so connect where it says push switch uh, P0 to where the, the IDC header says 0 and P1 to where the IDC setter has 1. So now I'm gonna uh, the switch is zero. Okay, it's on. At the same time, I'm gonna press pr uh, switch. Oh, here's a mistake. Uh, they're both switch zero. Oops, I forgot to change this to switch one. Okay. All right, we run it again. Okay. Now I press switch zero. So switch zero is on, and then I I unpressed it. Uh, I'm gonna press press switch zero. I'm going to press uh, switch 1, so now they're both on. Now I'm going to let both of them go. So at the end here, you can see it's uh, both are off. Now it's hard to tell in the debug, so I'm just going to add a statement at the end of everything. It's going to add a little line here. Okay, compile and run it again. And now when I press switch 0 and then switch 1, it's easier to tell. Now I'm going to let go of switch 1 and then switch 0. Okay, 0, 1, uh, unpress 1, 0. At the same time, at the same time off. See how you can notice uh, there's a extra step here? It just means that the ladder interrupt is uh, executed every 10 milliseconds. So um, that's the intermediate um, um so it's the processors processor is uh pretty fast so anyway so there we go so you could now you know the switch values uh whenever it's on um this is being held let go um from here i think you should be able to make some if uh then statements and make your program all right